Hey guys, welcome to episode five of our Miss Marvel review. Five of six. This is the pen ultimate episode. We really need to be hammering it home here and getting to the point. And uh, you fully lost me. I don't really Super care anymore. Super filling. I don't care about her grand grandmother. I don't care about the partition. I don't care about the love story amongst uh, all these, uh, you know, third, fourth characters. And uh, I don't care about the bloodshed that they never show. And um, I definitely don't care about the squeaky clean version of the of Pakistan, uh, the, the the partition. Um, it just, for me, with all new characters, actually it was funny as the director was very worried that this episode wasn't going to work. She, she said, well, let's, I'm worrying of this. Well, it, yeah, y your worry was there for a reason. Uh, didn't work for me. Uh, now I will say this, um, is it <laughs> competently shot? Is it, uh, structured well? Uh, or is the acting good? Are, are the colors great? And, and, you know, it, it looks, it, it's a, you know, a solid episode of a different series. You know what I mean? It's kind of like Halo. I'm, I'm I'm watching Halo and I'm watching Quan in uh, do the <laughs> desert people in Dune, and I'm like, what 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 is? Why is this? Li I don't want it. You know what I mean? And so we kind of get this a Especially little bit. Especially this late in the game. This late in the game. This is penultimate <laughs> episode. God damn it, Kamala! What the, I want to like Kamala. I don't care about Aisha. I don't care about Nani. And I don't care about Sana, the other one, Najma. Sana, I fucking Sana and Abu and I, Ani. Abu and Ani, I think, are mother father from Sani because she's gets this little kid gets lost, which is the grandmother. Or is it the great grandma? No, it's the, the grandmother. grandmother. Yeah. So I don't know, man. And honestly, I was like, okay. Maybe I'll do a little history lesson here. I'll learn more about the partition, learn what the hell happened with the British and India and Pakistan. Honestly, you didn't even really get that. I mean, at the beginning, they do this thing where the Disney thing turns into a, you know, 1940s. I was like, oh, okay, this is going to be cool, and I'm going to learn a little bit more. Nah, you, nah, you don't really, and then you don't even really feel the effects. Like, all the, like, fucked up shit that happened is kept off screen because it's Disney. fucking Disney, right? <laughs> yeah. So it's like, well, what the fuck was the point then? Actually, they did show a fuck. I was like, I don't know what's going on here as a stupid American that has not done his research on this. Like, I can gather what's going on. So all the Muslims were given their own area, and then you secular Indians were given their own area, right? And I guess there was fighting between the two, but they never really point fingers or say who's fu who's doing fucked up shit or who's who's fighting who. I have no idea. And then all of a sudden, a British soldier is is running after Aisha, this character that we're supposed to, and then out of nowhere, she fucking throws a dagger and fucking kills the guy all when he was just like freeze like if there's fucking chaos going on in the streets don't you think this it's the soldier's job to be like oh my god there's people fucking freeze ah, i'm dead <laughs> so it's fucking random so a character i'm supposed to like and care and think is a hero kills a random british dude a british soldier they're why because they were the bad, bad guys the british all the british are bad guys that's what it said in the beginning oh I didn't know that all the British soldiers were bad guys. My bad. Yeah. Uh, no. Anyways, like I said, I don't understand what was going on uh, with what they gave me. Uh, they gave me enough uh, context, but they didn't dive into it. Instead, they would rather uh, do a love story. And so that's essentially what we got here. Mm -hmm. What did you guys think? Super filler. Uh, I did not care about the love story. I was like, okay, I was watching it, so I was like, did I, did I miss something? Mm -hmm. I don't know if I need to watch the other <laughs> one again. It's like, wait a minute, right. is am this I watching the right? Exactly. The it's right like, channel. am I watching this like Miss Marvel? I don't. This, I don't know what's going on here. Right. So we get this whole, like, we get this whole love story that you don't really care about. Once we do get to Kamala, the show's over. Like, what the fuck was this? I did not like this at all. Mm -hmm. I, I liked the uh, beginning part of this episode better than I liked any of the Kamal stuff, actually. Um, I don't think it was related to what I was supposed to be watching at all. Like it, In context of the Miss Marvel series, it is wildly inappropriate to spend this much time this late in the game on something like this. Yeah. Um, I think if we had got this story like in 10-minute intervals all throughout the episode for like greater context when it mattered, uh, that would have been one thing. Uh, all we learned is that the bad guy in this episode, I thought that the 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 human, what is the government agency? Yeah, these. I thought D they were the DLC. worst cartoony bad guys in the whole fucking world, and it turns out that the other lady, the, the 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 lead of the clandestines, is the dumbest fucking villain in Marvel history. She's just like, 
she always she has what she wants. She's like she just kills everyone for no reason. Her her motivations change at the drop of a hat. I don't care if you think this episode's good and is a good depiction of the partition or any of these things. That was inexcusably stupid. She's the only person who knows where the bangle is, and you immediately kill her. Inexcusably stupid. She did all. She did all this because she's got a single mindedness, and she d- actually discards her son less than an episode ago, and then she stops because. Oh wait, no, my son. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? She, she's just constantly changing like who she is and what she wants she at is. any point. And it's just it's but wild. Alex, she's conflicted. She's actually a good person too, and she loves her family and this and that. Okay. I don't buy it. I, I don't uh, give a yeah, fuck. yeah. I no, okay. it didn't work. Yeah. It's not what I saw. What I saw, it wasn't depicted correctly. Because you can't do a character like that, sure. But here, nah. Yeah, you you're you're anyways, uh work. Sana so, Amanat, the uh Miss Marvel Cole creator and executive producer she's said the next episode is going to be an interesting one full disclosure it's the episode i'm most nervous about i think it's really great but we took some risks uh with that episode so i'm curious uh to know how people are going to respond to it it's the last one right no, it's not the last episode. No. Next oh. one's well no, he was talking about the, they were talking about the next one before oh, this okay. episode. So, this yeah. episode is what that quote was yeah, about. Yeah. They set up a time paradox which is like great wonderful because her she always had been the person to save her grandmother um <clears throat> Because yeah. she was always getting. They set up this this fucking. Loop so yeah, that, that does it. it so uh, does that break time travel? Because I thought Bruce Banner was saying like you, you when you in the MCU when you go back in time, you're not actually changing anything. You're just creating a new branch. But then the people who d- would say, well, no, that doesn't apply to Kamala and what she did here because she was always meant to go back, and she mm-hmm. she always she already had done it. Yeah. And so it does already happen. I don't know time travel. I don't know. Does, does this episode make you fully <clears throat> realize why her whole family and all of the neighbors violently hated this woman? You know, the one that died, her her, her mother. You know, no. she was always weirdo, and we hated her, and it's just like, no. she died in partition. Yeah. What what about her do you just fucking hate? I, I don't know. We heard rumors, I guess. That she, that she died while trying know. to escape the country? I don't know. Immediate fucking... evil woman. Uh, she, just, she ran out in the family, and now we hate her. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, there's just a lot here that was just ridiculous. Um, you know, it's just a side thing. I don't care. Uh, Kamala's using her powers out in the open and not a goddamn person is noticing. That's what I was like. How does nobody, like, notice this? Nobody knows. Anyone? There's, like, anyone? thousands of people. <laughs> They're so yeah, concerned. Just step on Honestly, these. Here, all I'm going to make a little path for you. All sense is broken loose, and this series is just completely gone off the rails for me at this point. And what's annoying is that it's the highest rated MCU thing ever. What? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like 96% or something. I saw them all all put up again, and I, 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 I get... I understand the counter-reaction. I understand, like, racists and weirdos and bigots are like, this is the worst thing ever. And then I guess people then c- counter that by giving it a little bit extra, you know, where it doesn't really deserve it. Or maybe they watch the first three episodes and say, yeah, this is good. And they don't continue into what's happening now. I don't fucking know. Yeah. But this for me didn't work. Now, if it worked for you, uh, that's fantastic. But I don't see I'm not connecting with Kamala anymore. In fact, I'm commit. I'm com- I'm actually forgetting why I liked Kamala. I'm actually losing connection with Kamala now because of all this crap. And then um, I, I want to resolve everything. And what you're doing is you're giving yourself so little time for a satisfactory resolution to all the shit that you set up previously that it's not going to possibly be satisfying. We, what, we got 15 minutes to resolve this. We got 15 minutes to resolve Bruno, 15 minutes to resolve uh, Cameron, 15 minutes for her to turn into the real Miss Marvel, and then it's fucking over. Well, it's you like, forgot another one. Like, There's the, the Nakia side plot where her best friend's not talking to her. And then so you got 15 minutes for that. that in the final episode, we're going to have, you never told me you were a superhero, and that's going to be something that has to get resolved in this episode. Oh, and episode. then I even forgot the DDOC. Like, we're going to have 15 minutes for the DDOC. The this series has the worst villains in the MCU because there's two of them. There's two where you not you not only fucked Very up cartoon. once, you fucked up twice. I am not looking forward to um, go back to the DDOC and see their stupid shit. But considering how these di- Jin died, they were fucking stupid as shit too. I don't fucking know, man. Anyways, let's give a final verdict and then go into. 
uh, the uh, episode rating, or should we go into the episode details then give a final verdict? Well, we're doing full spoilers on these anyway, right? All right, let's yeah. go. So I uh, don't care. Uh, so we do. We open. We get the partition. We get all that stuff, and then uh, Najma visits. Uh, so she, uh, no, uh, I, Aisha, uh, is running. And she breaks through, and there's a farm here. And there's a, a Muslim guy who is kind of being, he's very kind, but he's kind of being, uh, there's a lot of prejudice against Muslims in the area. They won't buy shit from him anymore. Uh, but she befriends him, and, he's, and he befriends her. And over time uh, that's depicted, they become lovers. And, uh, Poetry? Flowers, boom, fried, food. Fi- fried parathas. Mm-hmm. Hell Again, yeah! Again, another food I haven't had. It's it, it's it's like and when fl- he said it, even I wanted. It's to like a flakier eat it. tortilla. Like, no human. I was like, is that tortilla? It, they look like tortillas, but they're flaky because there's more right, layers. Now in them. I understand. They're, they're real and I want to eat fucking fried one. tortillas and poetry because I'm gonna he fuck was that like, no too. human can resist. And, I, and then even she's like, mm. and then I'm like, I'm like, mm. <laughs> I want to have that now. Anyways, uh, so uh, objective for me. So then uh, he puts a baby in her. <laughs> it's like it's revealed. So it's like, whoa, what the fuck? And, like, they're still kind of talking shit to each other. But then the camera pans down and she's got a baby. Um, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, all right. We ain't got time for this. We ain't right? got time for this shit. <laughs> Not even Let's they go. have time for their own shit. Uh, so she gives her bangle. And then uh, people show up. And so she gives her bangle to the new daughter uh, she has with the man, Hassan. Because Naj, uh, Najma shows up, and she's like, this is where you've been hiding. Oh, she, you know. And we need to leave. Yeah. Go back home on. together. Don't you want to go back home? And she's like, yeah, I want to go back home. And she doesn't really want to go back home. She's got a family now and a life. Um, but then, yeah. So then the veil appears. Um, Why does it appear? Oh, hold on. I skipped ahead a little yeah. bit. I, I skipped way ahead. Um Oh, this is where I the, the train I, station. The, the train Immediately station, after this is the train station. station. Yeah. So go yeah. ahead. So they got the train station, and this is the scene where it's actually uh, Kamala, uh, or as, no, no, Najma shows up, stabs uh, Aisha, Aisha, and she dies. But as she's dying, she manages to call forth with the power of the bangle, uh, call forth Miss Marvel, uh, called Kamala, uh, to help Sana on the train. Because Sana's lost. I don't know how the fuck uh, her father lost her. I mean, I would be holding my kid so fucking tight. There's He's no got one arm there. and people were rushing. I'll, I'll no. forgive that, I guess. <laughs> I will not. Anyways, uh, Kamala finds her and then uh, uses her powers to help. The first thing she does is create platforms for the kid to jump on. Nobody bats an eye. And then, I don't know, butterflies. Nobody sees that. And not a goddamn person. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta fuck with a witch. Any fucking sense. All right. Um, it She's just, a witch. It just goes off the rails. Uh, uh, and after killing her friend, Aisha, Na- Najma tries to go home. And then Kamala appeals uh, to her not to do all this crazy shit. Stop, stop it. Because, you know. Why doesn't she just tell her, like, you're you're going to blow up. This whole universe is going to blow up if you guys do it. But I, she wouldn't care. She's already said she doesn't care. Um, One s- track mind. Whatever. Yeah. And maybe she can. But then the veil opens. And then uh, as the djinn try to go. One djinn tries to go home. She's killed. She turns into rocks in, and then a in skeleton. the worst CGI effect I have ever seen. It, it, like CGI from like Spawn. You remember the it Spawn? Is li- it's yeah. like Spawn it's level spawn skeleton. It's CGI. It's like oh worse than God. Superman and Lois CGI. <laughs> and that's that's pretty bad. It's, it's Supergirl level CGI. Anyways, uh, so she's killed. And then it makes the veil hole bigger somehow. Um, so then uh, Kamala shoots it. Or so, with her power, I guess she was. Pew, 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 pew. She thought she was gonna. I don't know. You shoot it. Cover it up. Cover up She's the hole. She's born in America. Will be all right. Like, yeah, she was born in. So you just shoot it. Then all all fucking sense is broken right now. Like I this Naja, she tries to go home, and then Kamala says, "Don't go home." And then she goes, "You're right." And now she's gonna cl- help close it like immediately, <laughs> because Kamala says, "What about Cameron?" And then she oh, fuck, I forgot Cameron. about Cameron. <laughs> oh, that kid I've been in. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, she says she doesn't have him anymore. So, But that Kamala's right all of a sudden. And so she will do it because she's the only one that can do it now to close it. It's like, oh, my God. But maybe, but maybe so she's just turning up. her spirit. So she sacrifices herself. Or she sacrifices her body, but her spirit goes into Cameron. And now he has powers. Because his lights... 
his lights. I don't know if it's his spirit. eyes. They light it's, up. It's, I know it's he has like power. her powers are handed down to him, I suppose. But she never had powers, right? She never even fired that thing. No. So it just. So does that make any fucking sense? All semblance of cell sense is thrown out the window for the writers. We're like, oh, and then she, oh, and then she realizes she was wrong the whole time, and then, and then, then light comes out of her and it gets her. Son. Shut the fuck. All right. Anyways, and then, uh, they, then uh, a special effect goes from the veil to Cameron, and then it gives him a big glowy hand. And then we get the most anticlimactic death, nonsensical death ever. Uh, her mom, uh, his mom dies. Uh, turns into. A poor skeleton <laughs> effect from uh, Mortal Kombat Annihilation. <laughs> um, and then, uh, yeah, but yes. then her mom walks in right then and sees her using her powers. And grandma says, See, I fucking told you, piece of shit. You yeah, like bitch. girls? Like, I told you our family's magical. <laughs> yeah. And then mom's like, God damn it, I'm sorry. <laughs> Let, let's go home and <laughs> let bust out the old album yeah, and check out the photo album. It's like, Oh, who's that? That's mom. She's very rebellious. Do what, doing what? Going to concerts. She was a groupie for Bon Jovi. Bon Jovi. <laughs> you know what groupies for Bon Jovi did? Two people created. <laughs> anyways, two people created something bigger than they could have on their own. Is the big line. Hmm. Okay. So then we so get she, uh, after that is okay. no. She needs to say goodbye to her love interest, Joe. The third love interest. You can't leave without saying goodbye. Yeah, she goes to talk. Well, to he her. also has a piece of her outfit, so it was a fetch quest. All right, yeah. And well, like, no, no, because her mom finds the necklace broken, and it looks like the shape of a Miss Marvel logo. So I guess later on she'll have the Miss. But Marvel he he logo. gives her the the hanky, the red the hanky. Red hanky. That's oh yeah, the red hanky. yeah, you gotcha. have to have the red hanky. Uh, it says he'd be really proud of you. And then who who are you talking about? The the guy we they barely cared about. Uh, why why does that matter? The <laughs> He should be guy, sad. You know, the leader of the Red Daggers is who yeah. he's talking about, but it's like he would be really proud of you, Kamala. She's like, she's I don't, like, know, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know who that guy is. What was his name again? I don't even remember. <laughs> oh, shit. So this is why this series is 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 uh, is hurting now. Um, so anyways, uh, Mom apologizes to Kamala and then apologizes to her mother. That's goddamn right. Uh, and then Bruno with the trash. Bruno's throw, uh, throwing out the trash and uh, Cameron. <laughs> Brian. Yeah, Brian, uh, he's hey, man, could I stay with you, Brian? He's like, God damn it, my name's Bruno. He's like, oh, I legitimately didn't know. I'm sorry. So, uh, but then, just then, a uh, drone flies through the wind or flies out the window, and then he fires a green blast, uh, which blows up the, the drone. The Department of Damage Control uses a targeted missile strike on a residential building. <laughs> Uh, excuse me, Alex. The drone missile went haywire and crazy after it was hit. Why would it have missiles? Because, <laughs> hey, you never know when shit might go yeah. down uh, with superheroes. So, anyways, he, he shoots it. It goes haywire, and it fires a missile to the lower level. The lower level explodes. So, all that nice candy and, and shit is You know, gone. he doesn't have a job anymore. And now, fucking Kamala's uh, father cannot get any of his delicious uh, pastries. Uh, and he doesn't have a job anymore. And he's like, God damn it, why did I help this fucking guy, Cameron? Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's, that's it. Oh, that's, that's it. it. That, that's that, that it. Was it. <laughs> <laughs> then it ends. And I was like, oh, my God, this is so messy. This lacks emotional weight. This is far worse. We just came back from, uh, you know, Thor, uh, Love, and, Love Thunder, and Thunder, which is far better than this. <laughs> And uh, it's just too far removed from what I'm wanting to see and what I want to, what I care about. And then it has some of the crappiest villain resolutions in this episode <coughs> I've, I've seen in a long time. I'm like, why, why did I even attempt to care? Um, a lot of the haters were, I guess, right, but they didn't know they were right until right about now. MCU, time travel rules. Um, well, I guess it doesn't apply because she was always supposed to do it. Um, it's just too much left un unresolved with too little time to fix it all up yeah. in this last episode. <laughs> what do you guys think? Uh, Let's go with the final verdicts. You know, I was I expecting to learn a little bit more here. Like, I don't know how her fucking powers work. I still don't know how her fucking powers work and what she could do with them. Or just you know, a bracelet, that's it. The villain sucks. Go but now you don't need a bracelet. Well, I was going to go with the four, but now I'm going to go with the three after thinking about it. Yeah. This is way below average. This is stuff that we really did not need, especially when there's one more episode left. There's too much to tie in. This one already felt super rushed. How long is the other one going to be? More than likely 40 minutes. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot that you need to... They're not going to be able to do that there's, shit. There's I'm going to be surprised. Much. 
You're gonna have to have some. Yeah, really and this good love writing. story, I didn't really care about, and like what Alex is saying, like mm-hmm. everyone says she's misfit. We go see this backstory, and it doesn't make sense why they still call her a misfit. Oh, Aisha. Yeah. Aisha. We don't speak of her. She was evil and awful. It's like, all right. I don't see why. It's, she explain. just seemed pretty fucking nice. I- explain. She did kill the British guy. <laughs> yeah, but they don't know that. No one knows that. That's <laughs> why. Except for us. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Aisha was kind of a piece of shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. So... Um, it was three. Uh, I liked what I was watching, uh, forgetting that it was completely at all related to this. I was like, oh, this is interesting. I'd kind of watch this, like, period piece. It could be fascinating. And then I was reminded that it's Miss Marvel. It's like, holy shit, this is bad because this is supposed to be about something wildly different. Yeah. In context of the series, it doesn't fit at all. Yeah. We're in the, the second to the last episode, and we should be talking about way different things than this right now. Yeah. Uh, and then we got, then. We also got that the second bad guy is as dumb and cartoony as the the big for the other damage control bad guy. Yeah. Um, this is not good television. I, I think that uh, <laughs> they were worried about this for a good reason, and I think it's it's not that this isn't fascinating, and it's not that it's not important. Um, you know, talking about like the, the you know I- India at this period of time would be wonderful. I think people should yeah, read up on it. Interesting. You'll learn about it, and then this is just uh, unfortunately not the place. You, not you, the, the place this, to these learn about people, that. These people writing and directing this do not have the ability to teach me anything important mm-hmm. and then develop the characters and have all the bad guys and do all the things that they're trying to do, and it shows. Yeah. And I think this is below average TV. I think this is a four. Um, I don't hate this, which is why I'm not giving it a three or a two. Yeah. I just, it's not good or interesting yeah. to me. Like I said, it's, I think it's competently shot, it's written, and directed, but it's like, it, no, except for it starts to fall apart. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go with Joe. I like it less. Uh, the three out of ten, the reason. I was like, I could have excused all this if at the end you tied it up with a good re- villain, re- villain resolution with some some implications, and, and it is just awful, awful, awful. The clandestines or Jan or whatever the fuck they're called, just dumb, <laughs> stupid. And then and then now I have to go back to the DDOC or whatever they're called. Yeah. Great. Um, I cannot wait to get out of. I cannot wait for Miss Marvel to get out of her own. <laughs> Unless they go back to the family and the the, the, the other stuff, the, back to the U.S. with the, the care about. interesting shit. Um, but I guess so. And and not only that, I just realized you have to have time for all that shit, and then you have to have time for a cameo from I don't know uh, what's the uh, Rebecca something, uh, the lady Photon. You're gonna have to either have Photon or fucking. Um, Captain Marvel show up. You have to have time to tie her into the Marvels, you know, movie that's gonna come. Where it's, uh, um, gosh, I don't remember her name. Monica, Monica. not not oh, Rebecca. Okay. Monica, Photon, and then uh, Miss Marvel, and then yeah. So I don't know, man. This is this, this is crazy, dude. Three out of ten, and I'm more morbidly curious about episode uh, six than I am anything else at this point. Uh, Which so boy is she going to end up with? Well, it can't be uh, the Red Oh, Dagger there's guy. another subplot that they need yeah. to wrap up. Which boy? Uh, her Are best we... friend is mad well, at her. Um, and then we have to f- figure out how she beats the bad guys. Bruno and, uh, and Cameron. You know, based on this, I don't want to see a season two unless they completely, you know, have like, I don't know, some more, I don't know, a more interesting shit for her to do on her own beat, her own block. After she's a full-fledged superhero, that, that might be interesting. But uh, so far, this, mm, nah. All right. Anyways, that's our opinion on uh, Miss Marvel. We are a little down on it right now, a little confused by it. Uh, We'll see how it wraps up. Let us know what you guys think, and we will see you guys on the next Angry Joe Show.